anime peeps what is up it is review time um as i did say in my last video um i have cancelled batoyo as it just wasn't doing as good as i thought it was um and i stopped loot crate as um the themes for the last sort of couple of months haven't been uh just the stuff i'm not interested in uh but do not uh, do not worry i am still staying to some boxes i have the lovely anime creep for you and i also have the second Naki bento of this year so uh fear not i will do a luscious review as always and i'm going to start with loot crate and this month's theme was togetherness uh so it's all about teamwork and um and togetherness yeah, basically <laughs> uh so and there was themes of the boy and the beast uh mr oyamatsu and one piece and a few other little bits and pieces uh, i have opened it briefly and uh, just to look at a couple bits and pieces because it's been about a week and i haven't had time to do the review so it's just a lovely sunny day and it's my day off i finally had a chance to sit down and do the review so without further ado i should open the box and review the loveliness for you first things first guys is the t-shirt and it is a lovely black loot crate exclusive t-shirt from the anime Haiku and um, if you don't know what Haiku is it's a volleyball anime and um, I have read the, the book the first book and I have watched the first sort of three episodes of the anime and it is really really good if you like um, sorry if you like free and various other sports animes it is definitely worth a watch and the main character is pretty funny uh, so uh, yep yeah, as always a lovely snug fitting shirt so this will be sported at the gym recently as I um, read a few odd looks from my Aki Bento t-shirt I wore at the gym a few days ago <laughs> and I had one person ask me what the hell's going on on that shirt and she, I had to explain to him it was all different anime characters and it's just like completely over the norm he said <laughs> so yeah I, I love this t-shirt I do like black t-shirts and uh, yeah I'm very very happy so on to the next item uh, the next item is the Mr. Oyamatsu item. I did um, have it unopened. Uh, I was recording before and then my dog started barking so I had to stop and re-record it. So I do apologise. So uh, we have a little Mr. Oyamatsu keychain and there are seven different ones you can get. So uh, I got this one of the brother with the little parfait which is the one I was actually hoping to get. And it's just super super cute. So uh, this will be definitely going in my backpack. But I don't know this brother's name, so if you do know him, uh, just post in the comments below. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a sucker for Gashapon keychains. I absolutely love them, <laughs> as you should know from my videos. And I got I'm gonna have a big bamboo cane above my shelf soon and put all my um, Gashapon um, little keychains on because uh, they all fell off because uh, the hair grips that are holding the cane up all fell apart and broke. So <laughs> yeah, that's the drawing board on that one. Then we have the monthly keychain. I do like that they do keychains instead of badges. It's just like something slightly different. And obviously with uh, the uh, loop, sorry, come on, come off the thing. So obviously with a uh, one piece being in the box and to given this as a pirate crew, they had done the uh, little loot creep mascot as a pirate captain, doting a lovely hat with a massive feather and some a lovely pirate cat. And she's got a lovely cute little purple kitty if you can just see on my, my um, camera without the light shining on it. So it's pretty cute. So I will post some pictures on my Facebook, but yeah, that, that's just really adorable. And I like they make it glittery. It's, it's quite cute, actually. Then we have the uh, Boy and the Beast item, and they've been doing this a lot recently. They've been putting in these very slim novel books, and it's the uh, novelization of the Boy and the Beast movie. Uh, I have actually watched this, and it is damn good. It is a really, really good film. If you're pretty down in the dumps, um, sort of your life's going a bit, a bit pants like mine is at the moment, it's just a very, very uplifting anime. And um, yeah, I will give the book a read, even before you watch the film. I'd like to see if there's any differences. Um, uh, but basically, um, the main story, if you haven't watched it, is uh, about a boy called Kyuta, who's uh, this little guy here. Uh, he's basically a runaway. Um, his parents recently divorced. He's sort of tossed around from uh, sort of family to family, and no one really wants him, so he runs away. And uh, he goes down this alley, which transports him into the um, sort of spirit realm of all these animal creatures. And he doesn't know how to get back and he's kind of stuck and uh, basically this guy here uh, needs a apprentice to carry on his uh, fighting skills uh, so he can compete in a tournament and uh, he trains him until he's sort of slightly older when he's sort of in his late teens and then he wants to go back to the human world because he misses his family um, well his 
his mother, but he found that she's died. Uh, hence why then his dad didn't want anything to do with him. And then he found his dad. And yeah, then it's a bit of an emotional crisis of what he wants to do. Does he want to stay in the human world with his dad? Or does he want to carry on being in the spirit realm? And then he meets this girl who teaches him all sorts of things in a library. He starts falling in love. And then again, it's sort of an emotional crisis. Does he want to be in the spirit world? Does he want to be in the human world? And um, yeah, it is a very, very good read. So I won't waffle about it anymore. I wouldn't want to spoil the ending. So uh, definitely watch it. It's uh, recommended. And then the last big item we have is the One Piece item. And I was really, really happy when I saw this because I love me some figures, especially uh, Crane King Van Presto figures. And it is of uh, Luffy from the uh, new One Piece Gold movie. And I haven't seen it because uh, obviously, being a, a lot of seasons and episodes, I've lost track. And I haven't watched it since like back in the day when it used to be on Cartoon Network with the... Um, atrocious four kids dub and uh, <laughs> I would like to rewatch it because I'd like to see the redub of it and um because uh, a lot of the DBZ voice actors are in it and um yeah it's a really good cast so I'll probably have to get a, give it another watch at some point but yeah there's Luffy with sporting a massive accent a traditional sort of sumo style uh robe ribbon on the back and he's looking <laughs> He's got a very bad grown face, that's all I can say. So, uh, But don't get me wrong, it is a really, really nicely detailed figure because I love Baron Presto figures because pretty much most of my DBZ collection is made by them, obviously. So, um, yeah, I'm a big fan. So that's going to be my third uh, Mystery Crate Luffy figure. And, um, yeah, so I'm very, very happy. Uh, so then, obviously, last thing, well, there is a little thing. Uh, just a little thank you card from Loot Crate because they've recently changed their logo to this. So obviously LT for Loot Crate. And it's just a thank you for the support card. So that's kind of nice of them. And then we have this month's lovely poster. So I'm going to need to have a change around because I've had some of these posters up since the beginning. So I want some new and fresh. Uh, so there's the um, lovely Loot Crate mascot as a pirate with a little kitty trying to find some treasure. And then obviously on the back we have all the items. We have the haiku shirt and the Mr. Ayamatsu blind bag. So that's all the brands. So that's the one that I got there. There's one with a glass of wine, one with a lollipop, one with a matcha tea, one with a beer, and one with a um, sort of a uh, yukisoba, uh, sorry, yukisoba skewer. Uh, yeah, so Mr. Ayamatsu is a comedy series following the Mat Matsuno brothers, a sextuple of lazy and mischievous siblings. Their names are Oyamatsu, Karamatsu, Choramatsu, Iyamatsu, Jiyamatsu, and Pudomatsu. <laughs> Damn, that is a lot of names to remember. At least they all end in Su, so that's easier. Uh, then we had the uh, Boy and the Beast novel, the Yume charm. I keep forgetting her bloody name. I just call her Lucrate Chick. <laughs> and then we had the exclusive Luffy figure. So that was a pretty good box for the uh, Together theme. Uh, I would have liked a little bit more. It just felt there was... Well, there wasn't I could have done one or two more small items but uh, altogether it was a very very good box so uh yes very happy and obviously before I forget we do have the uh loot crate box which was inside out and obviously there is a sort of site pirate theme this way you don't really need to turn it inside out you could actually keep it like this and have a display and obviously with the one piece funkos being out that'd be quite a naturally good thing to display them all on because you could have you yeah, could have Luffy and Portress Gas Ace and you could have Nami and all the other ones that they do. I don't think they do Nami actually. Oh no, Chopper. So they do Chopper, uh, Ace and Luffy. So that'd be pretty cool to put them on. So that is that month's box. So that was really sweet. And now quickly we're on to the Akibitu box. And I was looking very forward to this month because it is a food theme. And I love me some cooking anime. And uh, it features uh, Naruto uh toriko and uh, a few other animes oh a uh, fairy tale obviously because i love eating at the, the bar and uh, um one or two others i can't remember what they are uh, again i have looked briefly because <laughs> i had to go and collect this at the post office again because of uh, commission charges uh well import sorry i should say uh but i don't mind too much because it's probably worth the box anyway so, like Loot Crate, they also have their exclusive t-shirt of the month. And being food, it features... Ba, 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 it features some characters and one or two that I wasn't expecting. So, we have... Let's see, we have from this side, we have Soma from uh, Food Wars. We have Happy from Fairy Tale, Luffy from One Piece, Toriko from Toriko, obviously. 
uh, Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, we have Al eating a lovely strawberry shortcake. Uh, we have Naruto with a bar of ramen. Uh, we have the God Tongue Queen from uh, Food Wars as well. I can't remember her name, unfortunately. Uh, we have Umaru-chan. And I was really happy because it was when it was folded in the box, the first thing I saw was Umaru on the t-shirt. So this made me very, very happy. So uh, yeah, I do love this shirt because it features a lot of my favourite anime and a lot of food. So that is pretty cool. I'm not overly keen on grey shirts, but um, it's still still really adorable. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's still cute. Right, and then on to the next item. It is a Pop Funko Naruto Shippuden keychain of Naruto himself. And I left me some Funkos, as you can see on my lovely shelf just there. And I don't actually have any Naruto ones yet, so uh, this will probably be the start of my collection. Um, I would like the first wave, um, but my fiancé has his eye on the second gen wave because they have uh, Kakashi coming out soon. And he really wants that one because he loves that character. Mainly from the Naruto Bridge series rather than the actual TV show. But yeah, there he is in all his little chibi goodness. And um, he does have a slight paint mark on his shirt, but not to worry, chibi. Hey, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to keep that and that will go on my shelf with my other Funkos. And speaking of other Funkos, they did also include another one. And this is from Fairy Tail, and it is of happy with a lovely little fishy and um fairy tale's been an anime i've been very hit and miss of i've only watched like the first six and i found it a bit goofy it was a bit slapstick and it was trying to be a bit silly um but i know it does get a bit serious a bit more serious in later on in the series but i'll try and give it another watch but there is happy and these, this is a really, really cute Funko. I'm sorry, I'm just, I, I'm a sucker for cats, so it's just so cute. And his little tail, it's got lovely wigs, it's got a little heart on the back. I didn't notice that before. Uh, so, yeah, that is pretty cute. And I love his little cheeks. He's just little cheeks. They're just so cute, I'm sorry. Uh, there's a little slight paint mark on his nose, but that can be easily corrected with some Warhammer paint. Uh, so that's really cool. And also, if you want to collect the rest, uh, there's also Natsu and Lucy, and so I might have to get those just to complete my set because I'm a bit of a completionist. <laughs> then we have a slight small one piece thing. Uh, we have some exclusive Aki Bento magnets of uh, Luffy, Nami, Chopper, uh, Zoro, and I think uh, Sanji. Sorry, Sanji. So that's really cute. So I'm getting quite a good collection of magnets now. So when I do get my place with my fiance, these will be going on the fridge. <laughs> if you're a full nerd fridge, I'm sorry. Then obviously we have the monthly pin featuring uh, Soma from uh, Sakugo no Soma. And he's on a uh, giant pot of cup ramen. So that's really cute featuring the monthly theme, Tasty. And I do love me buttons. I love buttons. I, I wear hats and I have three different hats. One black and check, one green and one blue, and they all have different anime badges on. So pretty much when it's the sunny season, it's good to rock out the anime cap. <laughs> then we have a Aki Bento exclusive item, and I think this is a wall scroll if memory serves me. So I'm just going to have a look if I can open the down box. Oh, it's very tight. Ugh. Very tight. Ugh. There we go. So, yep, there is the wall scroll. And... <laughs> that is so weird, but it is so funny. Uh, yeah, it's of uh, Soma from Food Wars, but with all the other characters as mini sushi and the naked. <laughs> that is so weird. Uh, so that's the little girl character he sort of fancies in. That's the god tongue queen. That's her sort of little secretary. There's the meat queen. I remember by their nicknames, I'm sorry. Uh, that's the last opponent I saw in fight in season two. Uh, she's that girl's sister. That's the guy who's... Uh, that's the Italian guy. And that's the spice genius. So that's right, I can't remember names. It's been months since I've watched this anime. So that's weird, but... but slightly cool at the same time <laughs> i don't quite know where i display this it's like do i put it in the kitchen or do i hang it around the house 
<laughs> but don't worry, that is really cool. And it is a really nice silk scroll, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you get them and they're really naff quality paper or stuff, but that's unique, I should say. <laughs> Uh, don't get me wrong, I do love boobles and it does make sense because it is a pretty weird anime and um, and if you know your sort of manga history on the artist who actually writes um, Food Wars he actually did write a lot of hentai before making Food Wars hence why there's a lot of naked scenes and a lot of big boob characters in this <laughs> uh, but uh, don't get me wrong, watch Food Wars, it's amazing anime because trust me, you'll watch every episode and you'll want to cook something from it, especially the first episode where he makes this um, pot roast sort of thing made out of potatoes and bacon and it's like you're looking at it drip with all this fat and meat and potato goodness and it just looks so good, you want to try it. <laughs> so yeah, definitely watch Food Wars because it's very, very good. Now we're on to the last enter, and again, this is another Akibeno exclusive, which is unusual because normally they do only include one item. And uh, I do love these boxes, they are so pretty. It's like that there's some little dumplings, there's some chicken katsu, and there's some tamago, there's some rice omelette, chicken, chicken skewers, shrimp. Oh, it's just making me want some hunk. It's making me want to order some Japanese food now. And it, oh, these so cute and if you look these are a um, exclusive Aki Bento set of metal chopsticks and uh, I can't show you on my camera because it doesn't focus very well um, but they have all the characters from uh, the anime Toriko and it's a really good show in anime and it's sort of, sort of it's kind of like Dragon Ball Z meets cooking it's kind of weird basically it focuses on the main character called Toriko who's a very tall buff muscle man with blue hair and he basically travels around the world it's kind of like a very one piece style world with all these big giant sea monsters and crocodiles and birds and he basically hunts all the rarest animals or sort of semi-rare animals and they all have like this heart level of how dangerous they are and um he hunts them down and basically tracks them down for gourmets to cook <laughs> or he cooks them himself and uh, it's like the first episode he uh hunts down like a giant alligator sort of thing that's terrorizing this island and he manages to defeat it and cooks it and has these giant sort of slabs of this crocodile's tail cooking on the grill and um, he also has like a little side character that helps him and um, he's kind of like Krillin sort of in a way sort of in his shyness um but he does get a bit better during the episode he starts getting a bit braver um but again a really really good cooking anime so if you kind of like action and you like cooking give it a watch now that is all the items from this month's box and then obviously we are onto the card which features the items themselves and obviously there's a cute little picture of um of Soma, Happy, Naruto, Luffy and Poriko and um they'll see each month they do have a competition and this month is to win a Food Wars figure of the main character Irena Nanaki that's her name um she's called the uh, Gotang in the anime because she has a unique taste palette and um yeah pretty much most food tastes like crap to her <laughs> unless it's her food she don't want to know and yeah um, basically if you take pictures of you with the items and um, post them to their site or their Twitter uh, you get entered in a draw to win the figure or whatever prize they have for the month uh, so yeah pretty much everything here we have there wasn't like any alternative variants in their box like last month so that's pretty good because at least everyone gets the same thing so um, I'm really 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 happy with this month's Aki Bento and um, yeah despite having to pay the extra 11.85 I don't care I, I love everything in this box so uh, until next time, uh, the next box I will be getting will be the Gaming Crate, which is uh, featured on um, Wild and Survival. Uh, I don't know what games are in it, but I'm having a feeling it's going to be like uh, Borderlands and stuff like that. So fingers crossed it's going to be a good box, so I'll have that at the beginning of next month. Uh, then the next uh, anime crate will be cyberpunk so it'll be ghost in a shell and various other futuristic animes so i'm really looking forward to that as i cannot wait for the new light action ghost in the shell movie uh, it's gonna be amazing and the next aki bento is going to be brawl so that will be dbz Bleach, uh, Akigama no Kill, and uh, another anime, but I can't remember what it is, unfortunately. I think it might be Naruto. So, uh, I will say a sayonara, peeps, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, bye!